Topic 6, Lesson 2, Connecting the Expanded and Standard Algorithms. Well, so far you've learned to use an array and record partial products to help you multiply. In this lesson, you're going to learn another way to record multiplication. Our standard is multiply a whole number of up to four digits by one digit, whole number, and multiply two digits by two digits using strategies based on place value and the properties of operation. And of course, we can illustrate and explain the calculation by using equations, rectangular arrays, and or area models. Our mathematical practice, we're going to reason abstractly and quantitatively. We're going to construct viable arguments and critique the reasoning of others and look for and make use of structure. Our focus is how can you record multiplication of a two-digit number by a one-digit number. Let's take a look. Let's say a large bus can seat 52 people. If eight of these buses are fully loaded, how many students are in all of the buses? So once again, take a look at what we have here. We have 52 people on each bus, and we're looking at eight buses, and we want to know how many students are all are on all of the buses. Well, we can look at it a couple different ways. Let's try this first way. 52 times 8. Well, we can take it and kind of split it apart a little bit, and let's just look at 8 times 2. They're both in one's place, so we have 8 times 2, which is 16. Now, if we take it a little bit differently, now we're going to go 8 times, really, not 5, but 50. It's really five, 50 times 8. Because that 5 there, this 5, is not a 5, it's a 50. So, 50 times 8 is 400. How do we know? Well, 8 times 5 is 40. And again, don't forget to add that extra 0 there. So now we can add it up, and we get 416. So that's an easy way of putting it of solving this problem. We can go the standard way and go 2 times 8 which is 16 and put the 10 up there. We have 8 times 5 is 8 times 5 is 40 and add the 10 there. It's 41 and we get the same answer. Either way works. Just kind of depends on what is easier for you. Let's try another one. We have 4 times 36. Go ahead and pause the video try it, and then come back when you solved it. Good luck. All right, how'd, you, how'd, how'd it work out for you? Let's see, you could have done, like we did before, 36 times 4, and notice I turned it around just to make it a little bit easier for, you, for us to solve. And we can still take a look at 6 times 4, which is 24. And then if we want to go this way, which is really 3 times 4, it's 30, sorry, 30 times 4, and that's 120. We solve, and we get 144. If you do the standard algorithm, again, 6 times 4 is 24. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 2 tens, and we get the same answer. Either way works whatever is easier for you. Alright, now try some on your own. Good luck.